People in the Back Bay are really concerned about this because street crossing times were shortened at a very busy intersection. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg is live in the Back Bay to show what less time means for pedestrians. Eli. Glenn, on a rainy evening here, it is shaping up to be another busy night for drivers and for pedestrians. Right now, we're standing on Berkeley Street. That is the intersection of Boylston. You see right now, there is a no-walk sign up. You talk to anyone at home, you talk to anyone in this city, they'll tell you, at times, it's not easy being a pedestrian in a city full of cars. And a recent change to that stop sign right there is leading to safety worries this evening. In Boston's Back Bay, a sign of the times is all about the time in the sign. And anyone walking across Berkeley Street at Boylston will see it. We're very concerned about pedestrian safety in the Back Bay. Meg Meinzer Cohn is president of the Back Bay Association and says a few months ago she noticed something outside her window at work. Pedestrian crossing the For years, Meinzer Cohn has been advocating for this intersection to be changed after watching a number of pedestrians get hit. So she knows this intersection well, and as she investigated, she knew something was up. So the change we're talking about here on Boylston Street and Berkeley all has to do with time. And because of this change, pedestrians now have a lot less time to cross Berkeley Street here. What was once more than 40 seconds to make this walk is now down to 17 seconds by our count. But as the seconds tick down, not everyone sees this time change as a bad thing. Having more dedicated time just for pedestrians to cross seems to make a lot of sense. Brendan Kearney of Walk, Massachusetts says the change makes sense. Before pedestrians had more time to cross, but we're contending with those cars, also trying to make a left onto Berkeley from Boylston. Now pedestrians have less time, but no longer have to also worry about vehicles. It's a balance, right? Always trying to strike a balance of, do we give people uh, more opportunities to cross the street, or do we uh, create time that is completely dedicated just for people crossing the street? This evening, you are taking a live look at people waiting to cross the street here at Berkeley and Boylston. The city tells me this whole goal is to give these pedestrians, like the ones you see right here, that protected right to cross. And those 17 seconds, the city adds, well, they're well within the range of city and state guidelines. Live in Boylston and Berkeley, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston.